Previously, we discussed the basic fundamentals of object-oriented programming, which features the object and class, and is built around the three key features of abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphism. We talked about objects, classes, and abstraction, along with related ideas of encapsulation and information hiding. Now it is time to talk about inheritance. Also related is the idea of composition. Inheritance and composition are both concepts that refer to how an object is defined or put together. Once an object has been defined and works in a certain way, another object might be defined in a similar but more special way, inheriting all of the aspects of the first object and then adding new features or altering the features that were received. This is called inheritance. An easy test that helps discern inheritance is the use of the term is a, where one object is a form of another object. For example, if a student object is defined with certain characteristics, and then a grad student object is defined that inherits the student class, it can be said that the grad student is a student. The term parent class refers to the original class, the student in this case. The term child class refers to the inheriting class, which would be the grad student. Composition refers to the idea that an object is defined with certain components that have been previously defined and is composed of these objects. For example, a car object would be composed of many parts, such as an engine, a body, and wheels. The test that helps determine composition is the phrase has a, where you can say that a car has a body, and a car has an engine, and so forth. Here is an example of inheritance, which you saw in the earlier lesson on visual organizers. This is the UML diagram of a bank account class, where the basic account is defined with two instance fields, the owner of the account and the balance of the account. The two processes that accompany the bank account data are a deposit and a withdrawal method. That basic account is then inherited by two more specialized types of bank accounts, a checking account and a savings account, both of which automatically get all of what was defined in the basic bank account and then add more characteristics that only relate to that specific account like the insufficient funds fee and process check method for the checking account and the annual interest rate and the interest deposit process for the savings account. Notice also that both new account types override or redefine the withdrawal process since the way that is done is different for each account but the process name is the same as the one inherited from the basic account. Another UML diagram we looked at earlier was this one, a complex combination of objects, all representing an order for a customer. This is an example of composition, where the entire object is composed of several smaller interconnected objects that have been previously defined. In summary, both of these ideas, inheritance and composition, show how an object can be defined to suit the needs of the software project, either by inheriting and making more special the characteristics of a previously defined object, or by putting together one large object that is composed of several other predefined objects.